Hello everyone, Lucas Eddy here with Climb. Today we're going to be talking through the key differences between the XC Lite off-road gear, the Mojave off-road gear, and the Dakar. If you guys have questions about each one of these specifically, check out the walkthrough videos for all this gear. That's going to go all over those details. This is just a really quick view about how these things compare to each other. So, first things first, over here on the side, this is the XC Lite. This is our lightest, most flexible, most breathable kind of off-road gear. We can call it more athletic, so to speak, like it's going to wick moisture and flow some air and be really light and comfortable. We're not trying to win any huge durability awards with this stuff. This is meant to be light and comfortable, great for racing and that kind of stuff. We wore these for about four days straight in Turkey at the Sea to Sky race. They held up great. They were awesome, super comfortable up in that uh, hot summer over there. The pants, same story there, mobility, breathability, athleticism, all that. We do have a pocket here, a zippered pocket on the left-hand side, good for your cell phone or your wallet or snacks or whatever. Take it out on the trail with you. So a lot of people like that feature. Moving over to the Mojave jersey. This is more durable than the XC Lite. Our focus here is hot weather and durability. So you can see super open mesh, huge, huge mesh on the body here on the torso. And when you hear mesh, you might think maybe it's not so durable. I actually high-sided on a gravel road riding like an idiot in third gear in this stuff. And I was not wearing anything besides just this jersey. My back was scratched up, but literally the jersey was completely intact. Like there was no tears in the mesh in the sleeves or anything. It was honestly really surprising. I was really impressed. So anyways, super hot weather focused here. Big time mesh in the body, more durable sleeves as well. So we've got still good mobility and all of that, but we're really trying to push for that hot weather durability here like against uh, tree branches and that kind of stuff. Same thing with the pants. This mesh here is actually from the street side of things, from that line of our motorcycle products, uh, from the Induction Series, Induction and Induction Pro. So it's literally like street ready mesh right here in the body. So it's really durable, flows a ton of air, really, really solid pants. These are my go-to summer trail riding pants. I'm a big fan. We've got two pockets on, two pockets total, one pocket on each side. Really, really solid pants. Now, Similar story here on the Dakar. We've got a few more features, a little bit more, um, let's say shoulder season focused. Like you can wear this in the summer, no problem, but it's not gonna flow as much air as the Mojave. So a little bit less airflow than the Mojave. Nice, stretchy, still breathable, still moisture wicking, uh, still mesh on the sides, um, but it's a little bit less airflow because sometimes the Mojave is almost cold because it flows so much air. Then we've got a little zippered pocket here on the side. Same thing, durable sleeves with a little bit of extra padding here. So we've got more features in the Dakar than we do in the Mojave. And same thing with the pants. The pants are not full mesh. The pants have this durable ripstop material in the main chassis, plus all the stretch panels and all that good stuff. But then we have adjustable, controllable vents and pockets here. So this one that I just opened is the pocket. And then the vent here uses a different zipper pull. So without even looking at them, you can tell which zipper you're holding so you don't accidentally open the wrong thing. So we've got these controllable mesh back vents here on the legs. So we can control our airflow, maybe it's spring or fall or it's chilly outside, we can control our temperature better with this. Then of course, these are the in the boot pants. Same with these Mojaves, there are over the boot pant versions of these as well. Those pants, you can put pads if you buy them separately in the hips and in the knees. So to sum everything up, on the XU Lite, we've got a big focus on mobility here, lightweight, being streamlined. With the Mojave, we've got a big focus on hot weather plus durability. On the Dakar, we've got a big focus on a few added features plus some more temperature control for not necessarily the hottest days out there. So that's the whole, whole lineup of off-road gear. If you guys have any questions, hit us up in the comments. Make sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Subscribe, like, follow, all that fun stuff. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.